This is anti-reflection and this is anti-glare. Both of these are a suitable solution for any display window or cover glass lens project, but it can be quite difficult to know which one you should use for your display. Before we do, for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Chloe and I am the technical sales manager here at Panel Graphic. I've almost been here 10 years this year, which seems absolutely insane. But let's quickly talk through what the differences are between anti-glare, AR, and why you might need to choose one over the other for your display project. Okay, so we're gonna start here with anti-reflection because it's in my hand and it's got the little mini mic on, so let's go. Okay, so anti-reflection is the one you're gonna choose if you are prioritizing visual aesthetics, high contrast, vibrancy with your colors, this is the one you wanna go for. This beautiful gloss finish produces deep blacks and vibrant colors. It has a superior optical clarity, avoiding light scattering. So this is designed more for controlled indoor environments with low ambient lighting, which is why it's the popular choice for things like car head-up displays, medical instruments, and then light and sensor products. And then we have anti-glare. Now this has got R75 non-glare coating on. It's kind of one of our standard coatings within our range. So obviously it has a matte finish. It has superior chemical and abrasion resistance, and it's really hard. It's designed to diffuse glare caused by ambient lighting. It minimizes distracting and tiring light reflections. And because of its matte finish, it conceals smudges and fingerprints. So anti-glare coatings are designed for more like industrial applications where you need more of a hard wearing coating. So we're talking ruggedized computer screens, industrial electronics that are out in the field, gas detection equipment. That kind of vibe is what you would want an anti-glare coating for. So to summarize, if your device is more industrial and needs to be a bit more hard wearing, then anti-glare is the coating you probably should go for. And then if your device is exposed to low ambient lighting in a controlled setting and it needs to prioritize aesthetics and like high contrast, then anti-reflection is the one that you need. Anyway, I really hope that was helpful. If you have any more questions, please feel free to speak to the friendly team. We're more than happy to help with any inquiries that you may have but anyway i'm actually gonna go and perhaps you'll see my face again here very soon